Today, I'm going to be going over 40 things you didn't know about Baldi's Basics. Let's begin. Alright, so when you spawn in, you come through an elevator. Now, there are three different places an elevator can spawn. A hallway, like this one. You can also spawn inside of a cafeteria. And you can spawn outside. Well, not anymore. You used to be able to spawn outside, but for some reason, they removed this. Like, why? Why can't you spawn outside anymore? This was removed around the time 0.35 came out, but I still don't know why they removed outside elevators. So, and to the next one. This is a very common structure. It's called the Roto Hall. And you've probably seen it in your Baldi playthrough and you know exactly what it does. Let me show you the other side. Here is the other side of the Roto Hall. You can see it has a small button to move it around. You can see that it shows this. This little thing right here. So then why am I bringing this up if you already know what it is? Well that's because there's a very rare variation of the structure that I'm about to show you right now. And right here is a four-way roto hall, which is not only very rare, and it's not only just a four-way roto hall, it's also a one-direction roto hall. Yep, it's a four-way roto hall, which is already rare, and it goes one direction. If you ever see this, make sure to screenshot it or something, because this is just so rare. You can see goes both ways I mean, you can't really see because of what that means but yeah it's a one direction roto hall super rare and it's four it's a four way roto hall one direction roto hall whatever super rare uh not a lot of people know about it so that's why i'm putting it in this video one more thing is if you look on the back you'll notice that it looks a bit different than the three way one if it's a four way roto hall that turns it would look a bit different but because it only goes one direction, it looks like that. So yeah, that's basically how this thing looks like. Super rare. Uh, on to the next one. When Johnny's shop was first introduced in version 0.2, it was impossible to get the first map, as it was 200 points but the most you were able to get was 150. This was fixed around version 0.3, where you can now actually get the floor one map and the floor two map, which it was possible to get the floor two map, but it was just a bit harder. The prices for floor one and floor two have been lowered down to 50 and 150. In older versions of Baldi's Basics Plus, there you used to have to get five notebooks sometimes. And then for floor two, you used to have to sometimes get six. But it was changed so that you would only be able to get four notebooks on floor one, and you would only be able to get seven notebooks on floor one. Floor three stayed the same. It was always nine notebooks. Okay, that's pretty much it for this. If you've ever played the older version of the farm field trip, you may have noticed that the corn does slightly get taller. This is the first type of faculty room. It can contain two to three tables, and it always has items on the tables around two to three, again. It has a B-Soda vending machine and a Zesty Bar vending machine, but it doesn't have any water fountains. This is the second type of faculty room. It has a giant table in the middle with one or two items. It has one water fountain, but no vending machines. This is the third type of faculty room. Instead of tables, you have desks, and you can have one or two items again. 
but this time it has no water fountains or vending machines, so it's a bit worse than the last two. Here's the last type of factory, the fourth one, which is the worst one, because it doesn't have any tables, doesn't have any items, doesn't have any vending machines, it has nothing except for this water fountain. So much! Older versions of Plus, Whirlpools used to just steal your items. Here's an example. So I have four items and my quarter just got stolen. In newer versions, they suck you up and carry you to a different world. In older versions of Plus, the way to trigger Baldi wasn't for him to count down. You'd actually have to run a certain distance away from him. Then he would start chasing you. But here's the thing: in older versions of Plus, you could just enter a locker, and it would immediately trigger him. I don't know if this is a glitch. Don't know if this is intentional, but yeah, that's just happens, I guess. Bad Slum is a character that appears once your save file has been corrupted, or when you try to pirate the Kickstarter version. Bad Slum is a creepy looking Baldi character with a blue t-shirt, and he's just, he has no eyes. He's soulless. He's creepy. He's weird. In. He's in this weird room. Also, when you do manage to find him, he plays this weird noise. When Baldi is counting down and you're trying to run away to collect notebooks, Baldi has a slightly rare chance to peek. Start staring at Baldi right now. Did you see it? He peeked. Baldi's a cheater. And if you didn't see it, you can play the clip back. When you see this message in Baldi's Basics, you think it just means nothing, right? And a lot of people do, but there's actually a secret message in here. If you look at all the words in red text, it reads, You will never leave, instead of all that gibberish. Also, while speaking about this message, I wanted to say that this only appears on floor 3. One-way doors only appear on floor 2. Field trips also only appear on floor 2. The library can only appear on floors 2 and 3, not floor 1. The phone can only appear on floor 1. This type of floor only appears on floor 1. And roto halls and coin doors only appear on floor 3. When you're outside, you can run without losing any stamina. But, when outside elevators used to exist, if you ran inside of them, you would slowly use, lose your stamina. This is because you're actually in an elevator, technically, and not actually outside. You can actually get in trouble for running here. So it's really stupid. You can see my sprint is going down here. I want to go out here. It doesn't. So, th that's it. Once you get to the third elevator in Baldi's Basics Kickstarter demo, Baldi will begin speeding up really, really fast. An apple for me?
So for some reason, every single rule is on here, except for the no entering lockers. I'm pretty sure the only reason it's not on here is because it's way too long. So if you've ever played the newer version of the farm field trip, you'll know that there's three different animals. The cow, the pig, and the chicken. But what if I told you that there was secretly one more animal that you didn't know about? Or maybe you did. And it's a sheep! After the tenth round, if the player does not fail before, sheep are added into the farm. Here's the sound they make. Okay, now I'm going to be going over some of the things that happened before Baldi's Basics version 1.2.2, which is the earliest version of Baldi's Basics Classic that you can still download to this day. In version 1.1, an extra shiny quarter was added, and so was the Zesty Bar. And a few of the items were renamed. In version 1.2, fixed NPCs passing through the sodas. In version 1.2.1, the soda should actually be fixed now. I really hope it's fixed. And in version 1.2.2, the B soda was finally fixed. Now, of course, I skipped a lot here, and if you want to check this out, I'll link the devlog in the description. And as far as content goes for versions before Baldi's Basics 1.2.2, well, I did find a few JSKB videos that were before, like version 1.1, version 1.2, so if you want to go check those out, uh, I might link them in the description. Speaking of older versions of Baldi's Basics, did you know that the old detention room used to have big globes instead of the desks? Why? And the last thing about the old detention room is that Sock Puppet yeah, it used to have this as his old poster. It says, Truly an incredible Sock Puppet. I've never seen one like it. It, ha it has nothing to do with what the Sock Puppet does. If you're playing version 0.1 of Baldi's Basics Plus, and you press this X button in the corner, you'll be greeted with a very long credit scene. Thanks for playing! Come back soon! There's a rare chance that when you're in Johnny's shop, you could hear somebody coughing in the background, really loudly. Try again when you have more hate <laughs> Did you know that there's actually a secret texture of a sunset sky in Baldi's Basics? Here, let me show you. Did you know if you get really far in the camping field trip, you can see three digit numbers and even division sometimes. Have you ever wondered what this is and what it does? Well, it's called a banhammer, and the only way to get it is through cheats, but what it does is it bans any character in the game, meaning that you could just kind of delete them. Maybe one day we might actually be able to use it. We'll see. This right here is a deleted picture from Baldi's Basics. It only appears in version 0.1, but in any other version, it just it's not there.
Here are some unused voice lines in Baldi's Basics. No stabbing people with pencils in the halls. No making a game in college in the halls. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. In the oldest version of Baldi's Basics, being Baldi's Basics version 0.1, there's actually a secret structure that only appears in Floor 3 called the One-Way Wall. Let me show you. So right here, you can see it's a dead end, right? Well, actually it's not, because you can see that there's actually a corner here. Okay, now I'm on the other side of the dead end, but you can see that there's no wall there. And that's because it's a one-way wall. On the other side, it's a dead end. But for me, there is no dead end. Because I'm on the other side. But if I look backwards, and I go this way, you'll know. You'll see. Boom. A wall just appeared. And Baldi's about to come through here. See? So, yep. That's how the one-way wall works. So I've told the secret about the new farm field trip, I've told the secret about the old farm field trip, I've told the secret about the new camping trip, and now I'm going to tell a secret about the old camping trip. So did you know that Baldy and Bully can actually get stuck in the bear traps? Here's Bully stuck in the trap, and here is Baldy stuck in the trap. Here's a secret room in Baldi's Basics that has a few buttons, a few light switches, and even this weird time machine looking thing over there. It's really dark and kind of creepy. I don't know what it's for, but yeah, it's just some secret room in Baldi's Basics Plus. At high enough speeds, first prize can literally break windows. And you, as you can see, the window was now broken, and I could escape detention. In Baldi's Basics Birthday Bash, there's a rare chance you could get this. Right here, you can see I'm at zero notebooks, and Baldi's taking very small steps. But as soon as I get in this notebook, Baldi will take a bit bigger steps. See? Now I'm gonna get two notebooks, and see how much larger steps he takes. I'm gonna get a third notebook, and now he's taking huge steps. So the more and more notebooks you get, the more and more faster it gets. And he only takes larger steps. In older versions of Baldi's Basics Plus, the player used to be a lot slower and Baldi used to be a lot faster. In newer versions of Baldi's Basics Plus, the player is a lot faster, but Baldi's a lot slower. In older versions of Baldi's Basics Plus, your stamina used to regenerate a lot slower. And in newer versions of Baldi's Basics Plus, your stamina regenerates a lot quicker. If you get a math machine question wrong before Baldi is done counting down, it won't affect his speed. But if you get a math machine question wrong after he is done counting down, it will affect his speed. In Baldi's Basics Plus, if a classroom decides to spawn without connecting to the hallway, a secret room called a placeholder room will spawn instead. Here's what it looks like. The reason the seed has so many placeholder rooms is because if you look on the map for the seed, you will notice that there is barely any room for a classroom to spawn next to a hallway. Also, this is a glitched seed, so if you want to check it out, I'll probably put the seed number in the description. Sometimes when you're in the cafeteria, 
there's a chance that this ambient sound can play. In older versions of Plus, you would know that the only way to trigger Baldi would be to get a certain distance away. But if you get a notebook before Baldi has started chasing you, it actually wouldn't affect his speed. Did you know you can actually run past Baldi in a hallway? Let me show you an example. So for number 39, I'm just going to be doing a lot of mini facts or honorable mentions. In older versions of Plus, the door for God of Sweep used to just be called Door. And the new God of Sweep door looks like this, as it supplies text on it. It's a rare chance that when you spawn from the elevator, you might get a weird kind of paper thin wall because it's right next to the elevator and there's a hallway down here. Hallways can't generate behind elevators, but any type of room can. Alright, in the newest version of Baldi's Basics Plus, the settings call this captions. But in older versions of Plus, it's called subtitles. In the Kickstarter demo for Baldi's Basics, the principal rule used to be a lot more strict. If you did something as little as open a door or just press down the shift key, even at no sprint, he would punish you for it. If you're playing on Flora 1, and you have this white brick wall background, there's actually a chance that your seed can generate plants, like this. Okay, this is the last fact of all of these basics, and it's the craziest fact. I bet nobody here watching this has does even know about this fact, because it's, it's just so crazy. Did you know that the reason that Baldi's name is Baldi is because he's bald. <gasps> well, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and hey, you watched the whole video, meaning you probably did. So the least you could do was at least like the video or heck, if you really liked it, you could even subscribe. I'm trying to get 500 subscribers because I'm really close to it, and if I did, that would be pretty cool. Also, this video took me a really long time to edit. It took me like two weeks, which is a long time for me. So, anyways, just goodbye.